European Commissioner for the Environment, Wikipedia Audio The Commissioner for the Environment is the member of the European Commission responsible for EU environmental policy. The current Commissioner is Carmenia Vela. The European Union has made a number of environmental moves, partially in regard to climate change. Most notably it signed the Kyoto Protocol in 1998, set up its emission trading scheme in 2005 and is currently agreeing to unilaterally cut its emissions by 20% by 2020. Other policies include Natura 2000, a widespread and successful network of nature conservation sites, the registration, evaluation, and authorization of chemicals directive requiring safety testing on widely used chemicals, and the water framework directive ensuring water quality reaches higher standards. Current Commissioner The current Commissioner is Carmenia Vela of Malta. In his hearing before the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety and the Committee on Fisheries, and in his introductory statement to the European Parliament, Vela listed as his priorities green growth, protection of natural capital, and safeguarding the Union's citizens from environment-related pressures and risks to health. During his hearing with the European Parliament, Stavros Dimas announced four main priorities for his term in office, climate change, biodiversity, public health, and sustainability, highlighting the importance of the Kyoto Protocol, the Natura 2000 project, the REACH Directive, and the need to better enforce existing EU environmental legislation. On Dimas' website he lists the following key policy areas, air, biotechnology, chemicals, civil protection and environmental accidents, climate change, environmental technologies, health, international issues and enlargement, nature and biodiversity, noise, soil, sustainable development, urban environment, waste and water. At the UN's Buenos Aires talks on climate change in December 2004 he attempted to negotiate mandatory emissions reductions to follow the expiration of Kyoto in 2012. This met with opposition from the USA, whose representatives refused to discuss it. Demas oversaw the introduction of the EU's emissions trading scheme that took effect on January 1, 2005, despite emissions reduction plans from Poland, Italy, the Czech Republic and Greece not having been approved on time. He also sought to include companies operating aircraft under the emissions trading regime. In February 2007 the Commissioner put forward his plans to increase fuel efficiency standards of cars so that emissions are no more than 130 grams of CO2 per km, down from 162 g km in 2005. This caused anger from the European car industry which was stoked by the Commissioner requesting a Japanese car, a Toyota Prius instead of a European make due to the Toyota's better environmental standards. In response to the refusal of countries to ratify the Kyoto Protocol, such as the United States and Australia, the EU has been looking to tax products imported from those countries not taking low-carbon policies on board. Carlo Ripa de Mina was appointed Environment Commissioner in 1990 which coincided with increased public interest and awareness in environmental issues. Ripa de Mina's appointment took place at the same time as that of a new Directorate General, Brinkhorst. They both tried to change the image of DG11 in charge of environmental issues and make it a more mainstream actor. According to Sean Quinlivan the then president of the commission, Jacques Delors, did not appreciate Ripa Demina's political style and their relationship became strained. 
Ripa Demina was eventually replaced by Carol Van Meyert for a period of six months until a full-time replacement could be found. Yet Van Meyert supported what had been done before him and described environmental policy as one of our most successful policies, and one of the best understood. Former Commissioners Stavros Dimas Carlo Ripa Demina List of Commissioners <laughs>